Hello and welcome to another Two Minutes Tuesday expert interview. Let's get started. Now, validation, as we all know, takes time. It can be uh, costly. What advice do you have for people who are in process design and development, people who are in the early phases of uh, process development? Get, get your team to include all the stakeholders, including validation, early. At the design phase is the time to start in getting the validation experts involved because the validation people can contribute ways of keeping track of design specifications and tracking them through the development, developing the kind of appropriate tests to evaluate the equipment performance or the process performance or so forth. And that, that's really why you want to have the validation team member on your project core team early mm -hmm. to get those aspects laid in the beginning. It's very difficult to engineer those, uh, uh, the appropriate tests after you're at the end of the project because then you, know, you don't know what you're going to find. You don't want to don't run an unknown test at the end of your project. You'd rather do it up front. Because validation gives you exposure to the, all the different processes that, that impact the business, from the regulatory aspects to the laboratory and environmental monitoring, um, the actual engineering of equipment and processes. Uh, there, there's so much exposure there. And you actually get to interface with the agencies directly. You know, I, I defend the packages with the FDA. So it's, it's really a very good, uh, broad-based education. Thank you for listening. And for more information on this and other bioprocessing topics, including expert interviews, please go to our Two Minutes Tuesday archive. Have a great day.